There is one thing that the world needs more than anything else. All you need is... Is... Cheeseburgers. What? Did you think I was going to say something else? In order to hook you into this video, one of the things that they suggest is to share a fascinating fact within the first minute of this video. So here goes. The walnut is not technically a nut. It is in fact a seed masquerading as a nut. Now if that doesn't keep you hooked till the end of this video, well quite frankly, I don't know what will. It is in fact a line from a popular sitcom, but which one is it? Type it in the comments below. This is a project I completed for work a while ago and is part of a series to incorporate different words cut from matching wood with specific colours. And it was great that I could actually make this as part of my work for Hope Woodwork charity project. And whilst I'm busy on a complex project with more 3D printing, which is already several weeks late, I thought I'd share this one with you just to tie you over. In fact, it would be good to know what you, as a YouTube viewer, would prefer. Do you like to see more complex creations in videos on, but on a less frequent basis? Or more simple creations on a more frequent basis? Why don't you let me know in the comments below? Alas, trying to post more frequently is pushing me to burnout, and the complex projects which I'm enjoying making are certainly taking a lot of time within an already busy schedule. If you are new to this channel, let me say welcome, and if you are a regular here, then welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at wood turning a love bowl from walnut and resin. I've not actually used this combination before, so I'm very interested to see how it turns out. This video is my first wood turning of walnut and resin, and it's based on my very first video for the channel, where I did the Hope in Oak and Blue Resin. And you can see that video by clicking the link in the top right of your screen or in the description below. But please stay tuned to the end of this one before you go on to watch the next. I've learned a lot in the years since posting that first video, and I would like to tell you that I'm past the stage of making silly mistakes. But I can't. Now perhaps I've become better at hiding them from the camera, unless you look very carefully. Trying to match the style of the project with a shape and also a suitable colour is difficult enough without little problems creeping into the mix. Now the walnut had released tiny little air bubbles into the resin when curing, so I had to rip out that section and start again. You can see that the base of the project is on a different coloured wood and is entirely sacrificial. Now I prefer to use a hardwood tenon, having had a couple of projects that rejected a softwood tenon and started flying about the workshop. So fickle and actually so dangerous, as well as you could end up losing the project itself.
As you can see, I use scrap softwood as part of the internal support, which makes hollowing out a cavity far easier. Actually, it reminds me of the time I fell in love with a dentist. In the end, she broke up with me, and now my heart has a cavity that no one can fill. When finishing the project, I'm reminded that there are a number of different ways to sand and polish, especially when it comes to resin and wood. And a number of viewers have shared their thoughts in the comment section, and I found them to be quite interesting and often very useful. Viewer comments actually mean a lot to me, and I greatly appreciate all the interaction that I see on each video. Some make suggestions, and sometimes, many weeks or months later, they may actually come to fruition and I forget who actually has suggested it. So here's to Duncan Turner for his input into the Resin Pen Blanks video. This was the collaboration I did with Hugh Davies. I just want to say, Duncan, thank you for your suggestion. I have obviously done something about it and I totally forgot to mention you. So here's your name once more. Duncan Turner, we thank you. I'm always a bit nervous about using the remount jaws until some kind of viewer pointed out that using a damp paper towel would hold the project far better. And guess what? I forgot who said it and I'm really sorry. I want to say that I do read and take in all your comments. Yes, even those that implied I had been fueling the illegal deforestation in Russia. We have hope and now love. So can you guess what is next in the series? For this project, let me know what you think. What single word would you put into a customized bowl for yourself and why? Please leave your comments below. So thank you for watching and as ever, hammer that like button, glue your finger to the subscribe button and send and polish that bell notification. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll catch you next time. I try to post once every two weeks, but I may actually need to slow it down for a bit. So take care and see you next time.